Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Wildman Outdoors. Today I've just been out with my slingshot looking for some grey squirrels. Unfortunately there hasn't been any grey squirrels. Um, but I've only seen maybe one or two pheasants. But I'm not allowed to touch those unfortunately. So I thought it was also the perfect opportunity to review the new knife that I've got. And we're going to be going over the good points and the bad points and put it to a real test to see what it's capable of. So I'm just going to get set up over there and we'll go straight into the review. So today we're going to be looking at the Anglo Arms 7 inch black lace knife. This was an impulse buy. I was just online looking and pricing up different knives and came across this one. Straight away the photos grabbed my immediate attention as it's a very attractive knife of course. As you can see. And after looking at the price, which was, I think it was about £3.70, uh, it, was, it was obvious I was going to own one, due to how inexpensive it was. I'm currently in the market for a carving, uh, a carving or a skinning knife or neck knife, some people call it, and a general purpose camp knife, uh, because I've had my current knives, which I'll show you. I've had these current knives here for quite some time and just thought about a change, see if it helps me any better. I got both of these knives from a, a skip, believe it or not. I used to work in a recycling place and these were found in a skip. It's amazing what some people throw out. So, of course, they can be they could be brought back to life, however they have seen better days, so I just thought it would be great to, to upgrade. Um, my ideal knife would be a full tang, full tang knife, both uh, the skinning one and the general purpose camp knife, and finished off in a kind of natural wood or bone finish. Of course these, these knives cost a lot of money, so we'll just see what happens. But anyway, this knife is just over 7.5 inches, although it is advertised as the 7 inch knife. The blade is 4 and a quarter inches and the handle is just over 3 and a quarter inches. The blade itself is a clip point with the end of the spine being tapered possibly making it a, a good blade for dressing the uh, game, field dressing. Uh, the cutting edge is made up of a high flat grind with a slight bevel. You can just see the slight bevel there, with the high flat grind coming up to there. A lovely knife, really nice finish. Uh, the, the slight bevel on it is great for retaining an edge and gives it an extra bit of strength as well. The, the handle is full tang of course, wrapped in black lace. A lot of companies advertise it as uh, paracord, which uh, I definitely wouldn't want to use it as a, as a cordage for any sort of parachute. 
I think it's more suited for lacing up your boots. But all in all, it's a comfortable, comfortable grip. Gives it good stability in your hand. Very comfortable. These notches here, which I think are simulating some sort of handguard, they can get in the way if you, you have big hands. And I guess uh, could cause some injury with prolonged use. They can be cut off or filed off. Uh, however, I'm not sure if that would affect the blade quality uh, or integrity in any way. I'm not too sure. However, I'm sure someone has tried it and maybe could let me know if that is the case. This finger groove here, or it's sometimes uh, I've heard it being called a, a choil, I think. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments uh, if that's correct or not. It's very handy for gaining more control of the blade. So if you're to just put your finger up over there, you get more control over the blade. So for if you're if you're you're dressing game, or if you're maybe making feather sticks, it's a lot better control. However, it then puts your finger very close to the cutting edge, so I'd be careful when doing that, as you could possibly maybe cut your hands, maybe jag into your hands there. Not too sure. This, this part also makes it easier to sharpen as it leaves a gap in front of the handle so you're not damaging it in any way if you're to maybe sharpen it on a sharpened stone or maybe some sort of hand, hand tool uh, it's not going to damage this part or your lace for that matter Another thing about this knife is it's really well balanced as you can see my finger's right in the centre and I'm moving it about and it's not budging Especially with this lace on, it's perfectly balanced. I'm really impressed with that. Could possibly make for a good throwing knife. And we'll test that out later on in a video. So uh, because of the, the quality and the, the cordage there, I'm going to be replacing this with a heavier olive green paracord. First we're going to do some throwing with this knife. And uh, if it passes the test, then we'll make a spear as well. So a few, a few different fun things we've got planned today and we'll get that sorted just now. Pretty good. Give it one more chop. Pretty good knife for throwing, and very comfortable. It just kind of falls out the hand when you throw it. So, I just went and got myself uh, <laughs> probably the straightest stick I could find in this woodland area, and I'm going to try and make myself a spear using the using the new knife that I've been reviewing, uh, just to see if. When you needed to make a spear, it could be done. I'm going to try and make it in a shelf position, which I'll show you in more detail. So I'm going to start by stripping off these, these shoulders here, where small branches have been branching out when this tree was alive. And we're going to take it from there.
done pretty well with the chopping the shoulders off. So what I've done there was, I just made a groove, maybe halfway down, maybe a quarter of the way down. So what I'm going to do now is bat on it from the top and hopefully it should come down and meet there and take out a chunk. There you go, you can see it's a shelf. We're going to tidy this area up with some uh, carving and hopefully we can do that with this knife. So make it all nice and flat so that the, once the, the cordage is off of the handle the knife should just fit straight in there, wrapped around with the, the cordage that's provided. So we'll get to that just now. Carved a shelf in it there. I'll just get rid of that a little bit. So far, the knife's done pretty well. It's it's not the sharpest in the world, but that's probably because of the the slight bevel in the edge there. It's not it's not as sharp as what a, what a high grind would, uh, what a high flat grind would normally be uh, without the bevel. However, it does the job, and it's, it's a strong knife, that's for sure, considering how inexpensive it was, it's very strong. So what I'm going to do now, is just start to take this, uh, this cordage off. So, of course this knife, be so far would be great in a survival situation if you could get the cord around the handle which can be very very useful and once you've used the cordage the knife can still be used to a certain extent it'll be really uncomfortable because of the the metal tang however it's doable so we'll just undo this just now 
then we'll use it to tie onto the spear. So that gives us a really good indication of how how it's been shaped and made. Really nice, really nice base knife, or base blade, really nice. Now I'm not sure what type of material this is, uh, what type of steel it is, I'm not really sure. Doesn't really give you that information online. Um, however, I'm sure someone will know and hopefully they will let me know. I've just noticed that when taking the cordage off the tang, there seems to be a little bit of corrosion there. At least I think it's corrosion. It could be uh, just dirt or things. Um, but yeah, I really do think that's corrosion. So, it's definitely not a stainless steel or the likes of. So what we'll do is we'll get it situated on my spear. Which is just there. You see how I made the shelf so that that just butts in there and it's not going to go anywhere. And then we we'll start by lacing it round. So we're just going to put this cordage through that hole there and tie it off. Make sure to tie it off to the side so that the bottom of the tank can butt into the shelf of the spear. So we'll just put a simple knot in there. Just nice and simple, tying it really firm and tight, like that. Do another one just for security. Sorry if you couldn't see that there because my fingers were in the way. But I've just done a simple knot, double knotted it. Like so. So now we'll put it in the shelf of the knife, uh, of the spear. Like so. Just start wrapping it around. Just a very simple lashing I'm doing. No fancy knots. Just straight to the point. Does the job. Hopefully we can get enough cordage to go all the way up to the top. And then maybe secure it more over those uh, hand guards there. Make it very tight as you go up. You don't want this coming off when you're hunting. You want this to be a really reliable tool. Just an extension of your knife. Do is just keep a little bit there. Like so. And then tie it off down here. 
hopefully we can get it through this gap. It should be very tight down here. It's going to hold that down really secure. I apologise if you can't really keep on top of what I'm doing here, but once we get it all sorted, uh, once we get it all fixed up, I'll show you exactly what I've done. There we go. So what I've done, was the hole in the tang, I just put a, put the one end of the cordage through the hole, made a simple knot, and then from there, started spinning it round the blade and round the spear, all the way up to the top. And once I got to these these uh, hand guards, I went around the hand guard, back round the back of the spear to the other hand guard, round the hard gan, hand guard again. And started coming back down on myself. I made a hole, well I made a loop on the, the cordage, put the cordage through the loop, down to here and back through the piece where I made the knot on. So it's a very simple, simple way of making a spear out of a stick. So we're going to test this out. Maybe start a bit into a tree, maybe do some throwing with it, see what happens. Some big crows there, you can probably hear them on the camera. So here I am with my new spear. It's pretty good, pretty solid, but the, the real test is going to be this tree here. So what we'll do first is we'll lunge it in, plunge it into the tree. See how we cope with that. Very strong. Very strong. There we go. So that one went in quite that one went in quite a bit and when I was pulling it out there was no there's no giving the, the knife or the cordage at all, which is a great sign because this is the, the standard cordage that came with it, the one that you would only loose, lace up your boots with. And it's it's taken quite pretty well to it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is throw it at the tree, see what happens. Wow. I was really, was really impressed with that. Um, most of the fact that this, the stick went pretty straight uh, because it is quite, it's more like a, a bow than a spear. But the knife held it pretty well and it went in about that much there, which is great. And that's pretty sol a solid tree, so, so I'm really impressed with that. I'm gonna take, we're gonna go further back and try it from more of a distance, that was probably about five meters. So we're gonna go back further and see what happens, see if my, my aiming's gonna be good enough. Wow. Wow. So that was that was from around um, about ten meters, fifteen meters. And that was straight into the tree. It went in maybe about that much. So that was quite Quite a bit. Um, the 
because of the shape of the stick, it started to spin through the air. So I was actually really lucky that it got into the tree. However, it done the job. It's still so solid. It's not going to move at all. It's not going to go anywhere. This could really um, work wonders in the wild. Could probably catch some game with this. Big game, small game. Uh, it all depends on how good you are at spearing. Uh, but also good for defence. So you could stand back quite a distance and defend yourself um, from any kind of incoming predators or anything. Not that you get any in Scotland, but I mean, uh, there'll be people from around the world hopefully watching this. And uh, yeah. So overall, Anglo Arms uh, knife that I bought. I'm really impressed with it. It's a really nice knife. It's a really beautiful finish and a beautiful shape to it. You can do a lot of things with it, a lot of uses with the cordage uh, that it comes with, such as make a, a spear. Yeah, so I'm really impressed with this. So what I'm going to do now is detach it from the spear and make another, make a new handle using some proper uh, paracord, some olive green stuff. Get over to that now. And um, we've just detached the, the knife from the spear and we've still got the, the old lace. I'm gonna keep that for another project. So what we're going to do now is relace this knife up and and what way we do that is get our paracord and place it down like that flat. And these knuckles here go just above the paracord. Because we want our handle to be behind these knuckles here and that to stop it touching the blade. And we bring one, one piece of paracord over and then another one over on top of that, like this. And then this part we bring under here, pop it through that hole, pull it really tight. Like so. Like that. And we bring this one back over here. So back over here. Pop the loop over there. So you're basically repeating what you've just done. And pulling it really tight. Okay. And then we bring the knife. Turn the knife over to the other side. From there. Going to do the exact same. I'm using an awful lot of paracord because I don't really know exactly how much I'll be using. Okay, okay, crisscross. Pop that one over. Through the loop. Pull it tight. Like so. Okay. And then we turn it back over. And we repeat the process. So we'll do this again. Criss it over, crisscross over. Inside the loop. Pull it tight. So, and over, bring this one through, pull it tight, like so. Back 
Park over. Give it a loop. Back over. Just cross. Give it a loop. So you do it twice each side. Doing it this way, you use a lot of uh, paracord, so it means if you ever need it when you're out in the wild, you've got plenty of it. The other technique um, that was on the knife when I got it was good, however, you don't have a lot of paracord. Some big crows flying about this woods, as you could probably hear. It's a good sign. A lot of people tape up 
the, the blade while they're doing this because it's, it protects the hands. Um, I don't really need to touch the blade while doing this, so I don't I don't need to tape it up in any way. So we've came to the end and what we're going to do is just tie it, pull it really firm so that it's not going to come loose, really firm and then bring them over, so turn the knife over to the other side, bring your pieces of paracord and pop it through the, this hole here, like so. Another piece through the hole as well. Like so, so you're left with something like that. do is we'll just knot these two together any old knot you want just as long as it's tight and it's not going to come loose keep the strain on this and then tie it really tight really fun so that's not going to come loose like so just do another one There we go. It feels good in the hand. It's a lot the grip's a lot bigger than the other one, a little bit more chunkier. So you've got more to hold on to. It feels a lot more comfortable. Better in the hand. So there we go, that's the lacing done, and I'm happy with it, it's the way I've always laced things up, very comfortable in the hand, and I think it makes the knife look a lot better as well, not that it didn't look good before, it was a really nice looking knife. And just to mention I'm not affiliated with, uh, with Angle Arms in no way shape or form, this is just an honest personal opinion. Uh, as I said, I, did, I didn't even know I was going to be buying this knife, it was an impulse buy. So I just thought, it's so cheap, why not put it to the test and uh, give a, an honest review on it. So I hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, I certainly did. I enjoyed testing this out, it's uh, done really well on my eyes, it's a really good knife. So um, stay tuned, hopefully there will be more in the future, and uh, stay safe. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.